guys, welcome to Vlogtober Day 10. So, um, as many of you know, if you've seen my vlog from yesterday, if you haven't, I'll link it. I, yesterday was my birthday. So I had an amazing birthday. I didn't even expect it to go the way it did. It was just, I don't know. It was just a great day and I've got, I got basically everything I wanted and more. I didn't expect to get this many gifts. I didn't expect for any of this to go the way it did. So um, with that, I wanted to do an actual birthday haul because even though most of the stuff I showed it in my vlog yesterday, I kind of feel like it needs its own video because it's that special to me. So I'm going to start, let's see, I'll start with the stuff I bought because we actually, we actually went shopping yesterday. We went to Hobby Lobby. I went to Walmart because my mom gave me some gift cards, but I'll show that stuff later because that's obviously a gift. But we did go to Hobby Lobby, um, Five Below, I think that's it. And I just grabbed a few things. We did buy some other things, like we got some canvases for Junior's room because they had those, um, like the superhero canvas and like wood and metal art was all 50% off. Hobby Lobby always has great sales. And we got a few other things, but things I specifically got for myself, kind of as just like additions to my birthday gifts, I guess. Um, I just grabbed a few things. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys those things because it's really quick. So from Hobby Lobby, I just grabbed four things. Now, um, I've, I've been wanting to go to Hobby Lobby. We do have one in the area. It's about 15 minutes away from my house, but it's near, it's near the Target I always go to, but I haven't been shopping a lot at Target recently. We've just been trying to just save some money, and so I don't go to Target during the week. We go on the weekend as a family if we need to pick something up or we avoid it altogether. It's, so it's kind of my way of saving money because I'm sure many of you know Target has this loophole that you go in for one thing and you leave with so much. I really wanted to go to Hobby Lobby mainly because I know that they have the, the Create 365 Happy Planner in store and I just wanted to like look at it, touch it with my hands, see it. I've been thinking about getting that for next year's planner. Right now I have a plum paper planner, which I love, but I just think the idea of being able to go in store and just get the happy planner when I'm ready to start it, it just feels better to me than having to wait. Uh, if you've um, bought from an Etsy shop before, you know, especially planners, they take a while to get here and I've also just been thinking about using the ARC system which the Happy Planner uses something similar to the ARC system. I'm not sure if it's exactly the ARC system and um, my husband for work actually uses the ARC system for like his work calendar and things like that. So I wanted to um, go ahead and look at the Happy Planner and I also knew that they had some of their um, functional stickers there so I grabbed actually two sheets of stickers and this first one um, I don't know if it actually has a name and they were by the way they were um, $4.99 each the first one I got is these oh I don't know what to call them they are just kind of like quotes to fill in boxes and stuff and I'm I'm mainly thinking to use these for days that I don't have a lot going on just as motivation and also to cover up the little um, month calendar that's at the top corner of my planner. So I got this one and it has a bunch of different quotes in it. Uh, rock this day, leap and the net will appear. Hey you, hey you, you totally rock. Happy girls shine brighter. You got this. Keep it honest. He who seeks beauty will find it. Things like that. So I thought this would be super cute for my planner. I always see other people decorate their planners with like these quote boxes and I think they're beautiful. I've never used them. So I'm ready to give that a try. And for five bucks, you can't beat it. Plus one of these sticker sheets I got for 40% um, off because I used the online coupon that you can get from HobbyLobby.com. And then the other one is just functional stickers. So there's appointment to do, love this take note and um, work it, get it done, 
do this now, get stuff done, let's do this, make it happen, and then there's just little tabs. And um, they have four or five different options. I really liked this one. I thought these would be perfect. And then I do have a small, in my opinion, compared to a lot of people, but um, my husband thinks it's huge, collection of washi tape. And I do not have any thin washi. And I find that I need it. So for $3.99, I bought this five pack. I haven't been able to find this anywhere else. I've checked Michael's, Target, uh, Staples, Office Depot, and I just haven't been able to find the thin washi. And I know I can order it online, but I really try to avoid that as much as possible. So I was glad to find this. And for $3.99 for five rolls, you definitely can't beat that. And then the last thing I bought myself at Hobby Lobby was this cute little wooden sign and it just says love lives here and I want to put this in my room. I'm going to create kind of a gallery wall above my desk and I'm kind of going to turn that into a filming area I think. So I really wanted to get something to put in there um, and they have so much cute stuff at Hobby Lobby but I just didn't want to get anything too big because the wall is really small and um, we still have to paint the room and I'm not sure exactly what I want but when I saw this I was like I can't pass this up especially because it was 50% off and it's only $4.99 so that was a perfect buy for me so I picked that up and I thought it was really cute and rustic and that was everything I bought myself specifically from Hobby Lobby we did end off buying a few other things my husband's got a project going we bought some canvases and things like that but for me for my birthday that's what I bought myself and then after we went to Hobby Lobby we went to Five Below which is also in the same shopping center and we did pick up just a few things and um, for myself I just got four things so I'll show you guys what those are so the first three things I couldn't pass up were these nail polishes and the reason I couldn't pass them up is because they are actually star named after Star Wars type things so they were they had like a whole separate section of Star Wars stuff and these nail polishes were in with them last year we got frozen ones Kaylee's actually got them from Santa in her in her stocking and they were named like Olaf and Anna and Elsa and they're pretty cute colors and so then this year we saw Star Wars and in honor of Junior of course I had to get them because he is becoming a pretty big Star Wars fan. So this first one is kind of like a glitter type polish and it's called Use the Force and I thought it was really cute. It has gold and pink and black and white um, flecks in it and I thought that was super cute. And this next one is kind of like a white but it's called OB1, like Obi-Wan. So I thought that was cute, OB1. And then this last one, I might be missing the reference here with the name. Let me know if you get it. I might just not be a big enough Star Wars fan to get it, but it's called Frozen and Carbonite. And I just really like the color. And since it was there with the Star Wars ones, I grabbed it. So those are the three nail polishes I got myself. And then also while I was there, I've been looking for a car mount for my phone or camera to be able to vlog in there. And I found this universal GPS and phone car mount at um, Five Below and it was $5. And it's perfect because we also have a GPS that we don't have the mounts for. So I can go ahead and mount the GPS up in there too. And I can mount my phone if I'm using that as a GPS and if I want to vlog with it, but you'll see in a little bit that I got another gift that kind of outshines using my phone to vlog. That was everything I bought myself when we went shopping. Like I said, we only went to those two stores and it was a great day either way, so I was glad to buy those things, but my gifts, my gifts outshine everything I could have bought myself. So I'm going to start off with what my mother gave me. So my mom sent me, my I in a previous vlog I mentioned that I wanted Pioneer Woman stuff but I didn't want to buy it for myself because I knew my mom was going to ask me what I wanted for my birthday and the answer, I don't know about all of you, but I can think of a million things I want but the minute somebody asks me what do you want for your birthday, the answer is I don't know. So since I, di since I didn't want to do that to her again, I went ahead and I saved Pioneer Woman stuff to ask her for it for my birthday. So 
she um, texted me and she asked me to send her pictures of some of the things I wanted, so I did. I didn't have a chance to actually go to my Walmart to take pictures, but I had seen this beautiful cake stand and just so much stuff. The Pioneer Woman stuff is amazing, and I've been following Re for ever. Like, I used to just read her blog before she was on the Food Network, and I remember when she got the contract with the Food Network, and then I watch her on the Food Network. My kids recognize her because my kids have watched the show with, us, with me. So it's just, it's something dear to my heart because I've followed her forever. So my mom sent me $75, which in my opinion is way too much for a birthday gift, especially since I'm 28 years old, I'm not a child anymore, but thank you mom anyways. <laughs> so I spent 50 of the 75. I, I'm saving the last 25 because I do want this beautiful, beautiful cake stand that I saw in my Walmart, but they didn't have it anymore when I went in to buy, so I'm going to wait and see if they get some in stock at some point soon, maybe like around Christmas time. I don't know when they're going to restock her stuff. Most of her stuff is sold out online, and it gets sold out really quickly in the store. So, one of the biggest things I was, and it may seem small, but I was super, super excited for these, and these are actually mason jars with the straw lids with the straws and the lids and um, they have this really cute butterfly on it which seems to be her design she oh, most of her stuff has a butterfly on it somewhere and I just I really wanted these and now that we have that water cooler I think these are going to be great for even the kids to use so I wanted to get these and these were just ten dollars for four of them so I thought that was pretty awesome and along with those I wanted to go ahead and grab some extra straws because my kids do have some plastic mason jar type things and Junior bit through his straw. I don't know what happened to Keely's. So she probably bit through it too. And I just want to make sure I have enough straws for all these cups that I'm, all these mason jar glasses that I am collecting. So I got this pack of 12 straws and it, they come in these pretty colors and it was like maybe $2. So I thought that was a good price. So I wanted to get another cast iron skillet because I, I like cooking in them and I really thought hers were really nice. I was looking for one that was kind of more of a square shape but they didn't have it anymore and I still just wanted to get one so I loved this one. And this is the 10 inch um, cast iron skillet and again it has the butterfly at the bottom and I really love it. I'm so excited to cook in it. And the last thing I picked up for 50 of my $75, like I said, I really want to try to get that cake stand, was this two-pack of the Flea Market, and that's the print, the Flea Market print um, ceramic bakeware set. So I'll show you guys close-ups of it. It has those really beautiful designs on the inside, and I just love them. And but that's everything I got from my mom for my birthday so far. Now, the next gift was kind of a surprise. It was a combination gift of Christmas and birthday from my in-law. If you see, if you watch my vlog, you'll see how my mother-in-law wrapped it. It's pretty cute. So my in-laws do know that I do YouTube. I didn't. I wasn't aware that they actually watch my channel. But apparently, my in-laws have been watching my videos and they've wanted to help me out on the camera spectrum. And they actually got me a GoPro, which I was super excited about. So. This GoPro is the Hero 3 Plus in silver, and it, like I said, it was a combination birthday and Christmas gift. I'm very thankful for it. I'm super excited to start using it. And last, but certainly, certainly not least, um, the stuff that my husband and my kids gave me for my birthday. I'll start with this Sweet Pea lotion from Bath & Body Works. So the story behind this is that Sweet Pea was my favorite scent while I was in high school. It was the only lotion I used and I had body spray and body wash and I just always loved the Sweet Pea smell. So my husband and I, when we met, this is what I used and I kind of stopped using it after, I don't know, I graduated I guess, maybe after a few years of college, but um, I hadn't been able to find it in my Bath and Body Works. Every time I went in it was either sold out or they just had the travel sizes and my husband caught it, I guess, when they had some. So he picked up a bottle of sweet pea and I thought it was cute because it's kind of a sentimental thing um, from when we met. And then the next thing, the next thing from my husband and kids is this cute Michael Kors wallet. And 
it just has, it, I've already filled it, it has a spot in the back for your ID and just like a little pocket where I keep my card that I use for gas and then it has an area on the inside for cash and change and a few more cards. So it's really cute and little and has this little key ring. Um, if I can find the tags, I will put in the name of this. So I got this navy and white purse. Again, I will put the name in because I don't know off the top of my he head, but it has this cute flap here. And this is actually the perfect size for my iPad mini right there. And then it has just a big pocket and it has four pockets on the inside. It also has a pocket in the back and it's just really pretty and it has the handles as well as the strap. So I thought it was super duper pretty and I really love it. So that is everything. That's everything I got for my birthday. I'm super duper excited about everything I got. I couldn't have asked for more. Like I wasn't expecting to get such so much stuff. I'm so excited to go ahead and go wash my Pioneer Woman stuff and get using it and then um, I'll have to read the instruction manual for my GoPro and see what that does for my vlogging and my purse. I did use it yesterday and I love it and I'm just excited to keep using it as much as possible and I can't thank everybody enough for all the birthday wishes and gifts and love that I've received for my birthday. 27 was a rough year for me, but I have a lot of confidence that 28 is going to be better and I'm going to make the best of it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this birthday present haul. If you haven't already, please make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Give me a thumbs up if you think everybody did a great job with these gifts for me. And leave me a comment and let me know what your favorite part of all my gifts are. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.